This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. I'm thinking today about what it means to be in coalitions. In relationship and organizing work specifically, uh, across denominational and political boundaries. This morning, I, I woke up to news items that um, Pat Robertson, of all people, had condemned the president's response to the recent protests over the death of George Floyd. And uh, also, um, in the last 24 hours, uh, Houston megachurch pastor Joel Olstein had marched with George Floyd's family in Houston saying, quote, we need to stand against injustice and stand with our black brothers and sisters. What? You know, that, that is profoundly strange. Let's, let's just be clear about that, that, that having, um, there's been a lot of conversation among progressive clergy online reflecting on it, uh, ranging from I did not have this on my disaster bingo card to the Holy Spirit is having a hell of a week to, uh, well, I did not imagine, imagine that I would be in the Who Wore It Better clergy protest edition uh, with Joel Osteen. But as, as uh, strange and maybe funny as it is, um, it does raise a complicated thing for Unitarian Universalists, or any of us individually. Organizing, definitionally, requires us to move outside our own communities, to work together with folks who are not part of our own small, chosen community. And that work is really hard, because it requires complicated negotiation between who we are and what we believe in, and what our joint commitments are with a broader group that's organizing. So here's a specific example um, from, this is a few years back for me. Imagine that you're a Unitarian Universalist, um, you identify as, as a humanist or an atheist, and you show up in an organizing meeting, and the meeting opens with a prayer, and that prayer ends with, we pray and we ask for the help of the mighty name of Jesus. Now in that moment, we have a choice. We can either say that that's a step too far theologically, that we cannot engage in this space and be true to our own faith commitments, or we can say, there are things that we are going to disagree about there are things that we do disagree about in this space, but what brings us together in this moment is not what we disagree about, but instead what unites us. Coalition building is really hard work. And the, the truth is that none of us, no single religious community, is big enough or powerful enough to affect meaningful change alone. So that requires us to be in relationship with folks we disagree with in, in some meaningful way. If we didn't disagree, then we wouldn't be coming from different communities and joining together. It's hard work, but it's worth work worth doing. So think about it. Think about what your commitments are. Think about how you're in relationship with folks that you have theological disagreements with, and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night, everybody. Just to be clear, since um, I don't think in the script this, this was clear enough, um, both Joel Olstein and um, Pat Robertson are not people that I consider myself in relationship with or uh, in a natural coalition with. Um, it was a jumping off point to talk about the hard work of coalition building. Um, but I have a hard time imagining that uh, they and are, are going to have a whole lot to do um, with the kinds of coalitions that I'm a part of. That may actually be a bridge too far. 
Anyway, uh, for a second time, have a good afternoon, and I will see you tomorrow.